hi guys welcome to my channel in this particular video i'm going to show you the preview on how to use lfs studio lfs studio is a music production software it is used to compose sound to arrange sound into music the way fs studio work is you from pattern you arrange your sound into pattern and you arrange your pattern into playlist you arrange your song into pattern and pattern into playlist so now that you're looking at this particular FL DAO, you may be confused because everything is looking like zigzag. So just bear with me a little while while I'm going to explain all the different parts of FS Studio. So when you open up FS Studio for the first time, this is exactly what you're going to see. You're going to see um, channel, channel tracks. It's usually called channel racks. So these channel tracks here, this box with a black border, there are instruments inside. I'm going to preview the, the instruments. So these are the different instruments so here you can lay down your instruments your instrument is already set in pattern this little little box you see here are way to program your sound to sound so whenever you touch this particular instrument it means that you have highlighted a sound to be played i'm going to preview it right now you see it is playing i'm also going to put here So that is how FS Studio works. So first, if you want to lay any bit, you first of all arrange your song, organize your music into channel track. So this channel track, how do you import sound into channel track? For example, you have any sound you want to play. The first thing you need to do is to come here, go to your sound pack. Then another part is the browser. So this browser section is where your instruments are located. It's called browser section. So how do you find your instrument? You go to pack. Then you see drums, you see drums, you see um, instruments, you see instruments, legacy loop. So these are different type of instruments. I'm going just reviewing them. You see guitar hmm, and all that. So this is where you find your instrument. Then how do you bring in your instrument into this track section? All you simply do is when you find your instrument, click on the folder. For example, I want to bring in an instrument. I just simply click kick. Then when I click the kick, then I will left click i will hold it and i will drag and drop again i'm going to repeat it again i will hold it and, and i will drag and drop so this is how you bring your instrument into your channel track i'm going to preview them again so this is how you drag your instrument into the channel track what you do is i repeat again you left click with your mouse you press your mouse down you hold it you drag you drop this is how you import your instrument into your channel track so we just talked about the channel track we talked about the browser so the next one we're going to talk about is the features that you are seeing here so we have a red button here called pattern we have song so this switch mode are different mode remember in the beginning i started with when you open fs studio the main two parts that you see the first one is it the the channel rack so this channel rack contains where you or put your instrument and organize your sound the second one is the playlist where you organize all your sound into music for example i have i have let's assume i have already arranged my sound like this you see this sound i just arranged this channel track has also appeared here secondly you can see so through here after i have organized my sound here then i'm going to arrange it into song here then i'll click here and i'll put it here I will continue to paste maybe depending if it is three minutes or five minutes i want it to be i'll just paste you can still begin to arrange it so that's why some of those songs that you are hearing that is up to three minutes to five minutes song this is where it is it is being arranged so after you have played your sound the way you want it all you simply do is just just come here paste 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 arrange it to different pattern to the number of duration that you want then this particular screen here is showing you the duration of the beat that you are arranging that you are turning into song so for example i'm going to bring this cursor i'll right click and i'll drag it to the beginning if i play you see it's showing zero 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 so as it keeps playing you see it starts counting until the length of the song i want it to be if i want my music to be five minutes i'm going to stretch it out arrange it i'm going to keep pasting keep pasting 
pasting, 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 pasting until it reaches five minutes. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to take it up to five minutes. I just want to show you how it works. Then if you want to clean it, all you simply do is to right click. You see, you see this cursor will appear. This red cursor will appear. Then when you sweep it backward, leftward, it will begin to clean off. In case you paste something, how to clean audio file that you don't want in FS Studio. So this is how it works. This is how your channel rack works and your playlist. So the way it is connected to FS Studio is from your playlist, you move your organize already played sound to from your channel rack. You move all your sound to arrange your sound into song on your playlist. So this is the purpose of this button. So if you are on the channel rack, you play, you put on this button so that everything on the channel rack here will play. So let us experiment. Now that my button is on the part, which is pattern here, we lay where we lay our patterns. Hmm? You see, it is playing. If I switch now to song mode, you see this particular button automatically appears here. It will start playing from this side. You see, it will start playing from this side. So if I had arranged anything here, it will start playing what I have arranged there. So if I want to play anything on this channel rack, I'm going to switch it to pattern. Here is where we lay our pattern. Then from our pattern, I can play anything here. Then if I want to play on this, on the arrange playlist, hmm? playlist, our playlist, then I will just switch the button to switch the playhead, which is this playhead. This blue stuff is called a playhead to be able to play anything I have on my playlist. Then the next one there is your play button. You are very familiar with this play button. You have electronics at home. It must have a play button. So this play button will help you to hear the feedback of what you have already arranged. So like this stuff that we've already arranged. So the next one is your stop button. So when you play, just click your stop button and it will stop. So the third one here, the next one here is your record. For example, now you want to record any external instrument, either with your keyboard, your mouse. All you simply do is to click here. Then you have different section where you want to record your audio. Then if you want to record your audio into Edison, your Edison, then you do that. Edison is like a temporary place where you record audio to edit it before you bring it to this pattern. Then the second one is audio clip playlist. If you want to record an audio into this directly into this into this playlist that is when you use this second option then if you want to record audio into automation you want to do automation and all that that is when you use that option then if you want to record on any part of any of this option hmm, all you simply do is to click everything hmm? so for example i'm just going to demonstrate record i'm just going to highlight and press my keyboard to see to show you how it will record automatically so i'm going to click record you see, I just touch my keyboard automatically. It recorded on the play on the channel track. If I want to also record on my playlist, all I simply do is to switch this button to the playlist. I click record. You see, automatically it, is, it has recorded here. So this is how the record button works. Then the next one on the list is your tempo. So what is a tempo? Tempo simply means the speed of your of your music for example this tempo right now is 130 it's as if you are driving an, a car on 130 the car will be on a very high speed but if i adjust this tempo now up to 100 you can put your cursor here drag it down then i'm going to demonstrate it again to see how it runs for example i'm just going to add random stuff Okay, let's assume that this particular beat is running at 60. You can see that it is slow. Let me just put a straight stuff, a straight uh, sound. So I'm also going to adjust the tempo down back to 90 to see. Again, I'm going to adjust it back to 100. 190. So now you see a perfect example on how the tempo works. Then the next one is it's called metronome a metronome is a guided count a count before you make any recording for example if i want to play something eh I just if i want to play something i'm going to follow a consistent count this particular count to help you to be guided before you record anything for example bah, 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 
ba anything i want to do now back back tick tick back back tick tick back back so I'm, I'm i will show you an example let me put this tempo on 100 so that is a guide so whenever you record anything just put on the metronome and all that so the next one here is just a pre-count a pre-count is also a count that enable you to prepare yourself before you start recording for example here one two three go so this particular future is usually used before you record anything for example i'm going to click record now and you got to hear a pre-count for example one two three go so i'm going to put it off one two three go ba 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 So this is just that a pre-count then this other one is um you don't really need this maybe later in the future and all that so this particular button here if you don't have a keyboard if you don't have a keyboard you just use your your keyboard of your laptop if you want to able to preview sound or to record with your keyboard on your laptop either a direct keyboard from your laptop if you don't have a piano connected to your system all you simply do is just to put on this button just to put on this button when you put on this button you can see i'm touching i'm touching right now the keyboard on my laptop as you can see it's reviewing so here through the keyboard of your laptop you can be able to play sound into your what into your your your, your system so this particular one is called loop recording what is loop recording for example now if you put on this loop recording and you try to record anything especially on your playlist as it goes like this you are recording something you could just put it like this let's say i have a four count let me put on my recording like this so when it gets to the big to the end it automatically switch to the beginning again you see automatically switch and i keep recording you understand then automatically goes back again so that is for speed recording but you cannot do that now it is when you have gotten advanced that is when you are able to do do that okay so that's pretty much i have told you about the count time and then the next one there is what your pattern switch so what is your pattern switch so your pattern switch is pattern selector for example now i lay a certain pattern here so on my first page i have a pattern here then i want to lay another pattern all i simply do is to come here put it on pattern two now it's not on pattern two i come here i lay another pattern again another style then after i laid that one i come to pattern three i laid another style So you can see i already have three different patterns so if i click pattern one this is what i laid on pattern one if i click on pattern two this is what i have on my pattern two if i click on pattern three this is what i have on my pattern three so by the time i want to arrange them into music all i simply do is to left click and i will put my pattern here number one then i will click again it automatically switch to pattern two then the style that i played on pattern two will appear then i'll put it back here again then i'll click pattern three then the style i played on pattern three will now be here so i have combined the three styles together so when i play it you see the three patterns are beginning to play uniformly and that is when you have your song um, um have the uniformity of your song or all together so this is how to use pattern then another one is the what the view playlist so i thought i talked about this playlist before so this is if you want to arrange your song onto playlist so this is where you arrange your song into the length that you desire and arrange your song into different pattern i have a video already that talks about this playlist if you check up right now it's going to appear you play the video or go to the description below you're going to see the link to the video on how to arrange song on on the playlist so if you want to go to your piano row for example you have an instrument yeah to go to a piano row has two methods it's either you come here straight and go to the piano roll mm? if i highlight on if i want to go to the piano roll of this particular instrument all i simply do is just to highlight 
or I want to do here. Once this place is already lighting green, I've already, I've already highlighted this particular part. All I simply do is just to come here, hmm, click this particular one and open the piano roll of that particular instrument. So piano roll is actually a section where you can arrange your beat into piano. You can see the piano section here where you can arrange your beat into your instruments, hmm, into keys, arrange your instrument into keys. So this is just an example. So this is a piano roll. So any instrument section you want to go to their piano roll. Hmm? So there's a button for you to switch in your channel rack. There's a button for you to switch in your channel rack. There's a button in your channel rack. In your channel rack. In your channel rack. This is channel rack. This is channel rack. So if you want to bring back your channel rack, you just put it back. If you want to remove it for you to have space, working space between your working environment, all you simply do is what to remove it. Then the next one on the list is your mixer. So your mixer, this is your mixer. So this mixer is mo mostly like also your regular mixer that you have maybe in your worship centers or that. So, so the features of this mixer is faders. We have buttons that help you drag your volumes down, the volume of your sound. So for example, I'm going to demonstrate this. I'm going to bring in my channel rack. So if you look at this, my channel rack, I've already linked them to mixer. So as you can see, as I'm dragging them, you see it begins to highlight. Hmm? I'm going to reset all of them to show you an example. So you can see these particular instruments, I want to link them to the mixer here. I want to link these instruments to the mixer. So the next thing I do, I just come here. Mm? left click and i will drag it up you see the two arrow at the edge i'll just drag it up you see automatically this particular instrument has appeared on my misa track so it means i have linked this instrument toward my mixer and when i play now i'm going to play something there you see the signal begins to appear you see the signal begins to appear here this particular sound i've already linked it now to chant misa one this track uh, sound one i have linked it link it now to mixer one it will begin to appear look at it you see the signal you see the signal is appearing right now so i'm going to list i'm going to also connect this particular sound to mixer two i'm going to play it like this and i'm going to take it to two you see it automatically appeared to two So you can see the sound has actually appeared here in two. Then if you want to adjust the volume of the sound, all you simply do is come to this word fader. Volume word fader. This is volume control. The volume control that helps you to control the output of your sound. I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So I'm going to play it. Yes, I'm going to bring the volume down. I'm going to bring the volume up. So in, this is how you the, the volume you use to balance your instrument. So these are numerous of them. In case you have more than one instrument here, for example, I'm going to demonstrate that randomly. I'm going to assume I have I, I have already played my song. And I'm going to link all of them into Mixer. I'm linking 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I'm going to play all of them. So you can see that all the instruments are appearing here. Hmm? And I'm going to use this particular faders volume to balance them. So what I'm going to do is to bring them down individually to balance all the volume. So, so guys, this is how it was. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that whenever we upload videos like this, you get notification. And also, we have our Telegram channel where we post regular videos on how to make beat professionally. So, guys, so make sure you subscribe to that to join that our class so that you you get regular videos on music production tips and tricks. So, check the link in the, in, in the description below. So, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so that you get notification of fresh videos like this that we post so that you don't miss out. If you have any question or you want to you have any topic you want me to make video on, make sure you put that question in the comment section below so that when I get the question, I will make a video and I'll post it right back on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video so that you continue to get notification. So guys, so the next one on the list we've talked about the mixer and how to link your sounds to your what to your mixer. So the next one is is 
uh, browser plugin. So what we have here is browser plugin. Browser plugin is this your browsing section where you can access your packs and your plugin. So right now, if I click, you see it's going to disappear. So if you want to bring back your browser plugins, so the reason why you have all these buttons where you can, I can do, I remove it, I click, I remove it, I click here, I remove it. You see, and I have a large working space. I have a large working space. For example, now you want to go to your playlist or you are arranging something. I can decide to want to have my full playlist here so that I can have a large working area to work. That is why these buttons are placed here to remove them so that you can have enough space for yourself, right? So right now, this is your browser, your browser section where your instruments and your sounds are contained. So if you want to remove it and create space for yourself, what you simply do is to come here and click this button. So when you click this button, it goes and it, it appears. Okay. All right. So the next one we have here is project plugin. So there are internal plugins in the FS Studio. If you want to pick the plugin, you want to make your plugin appear, you simply do is to click here. So when you click here, you begin, you can begin to see the plugins, your sound that you have created if you want to select. You see, these are the sound that I have mm. created. They are automatically previewing. If you want, it's just a shortcut for you to select your world sound. So if I want to go to my to my kick, and I cannot go directly to my uh, uh, playlist pattern selector, and I just want to view or or view and go straight to what I want to get, I will just click that particular button. I will come here and I choose the section where I want to be. So automatically to be there. Then I can also go back there, click, and I want to go to pattern. You see, I'm right there in the pattern. I click on to go to channel. I go right to channel. So that is just a basic shortcut on how to navigate within your what instrument. So these are so what you just have here is a plugin picker. You have plugins in your FS Studio. For example, you have morphine, you have synth. You have MIDI out, I have keyboard layer. So all these are different internal plugins that came with FF Studio. So if you want to access anyone on the shortcut mm, so that you can view them without you not going to the menu options, all you simply do is just to click that plugin option button, come here and then for example, I want to select this now. You see, the moment I right click automatically, it opens for me, right? Mm? So if I want to select my plugin, although you can also use another pattern to select, select your plugin. How do you do that? Just go to this, your plus sign. When you click this, your plus sign, hmm, you can find all the browser list here. Hmm? You can see flex. So I've also imported hmm, another type of plugin. But if you want to visually hmm, select your plugin, all you simply do, just right click here. Right click there, you see it will bring out a list for you. So when you right left click, it will automatically place it for you inside your what that this one is inside the mixer, right? So this is basically all you need. This is basically what you need. So um then if you are recording in FS Studio, you made a mistake. This shortcut right here. This shortcut right here enables you to undo. What I mean undo, if I click it now, you see it went back. So things I have done before, it went back. If you make a mistake, just click undo. It will undo what you have done before and went back to the past history for you to fix your project. Then we also had an audio editor cut here. So if you click this edi audio editor cut, it takes you that to the editing. So this is where you temporarily edit your audio. For example, if I click here, I want to uh, input my audio. So right now, um, I'm not, where is my audio? I'm just going to bring in something. Okay. This is like an audio. So this is a tool that you temporarily use to edit your audio. For example, before you put your audio on the playlist, you can just bring your tool here. So I'm going to make another separate tutorial that discusses how to use editing, how to use editing to edit your audio, to clean up your audio before you make use of them in your what in your project. So and the next button here is, uh, is one click recording. So this particular shortcut button enables you to do or to record into either an audio edition mm, or into a playlist. So this is just, just directly a shortcut and enable you to go to different sections or a direction where you want to record. Remember we have 
remember we have our audio editing to edit just the one i just previewed which is this mm -hmm. so this particular button is giving you two options to record directly to audio editing which is this particular tool or record directly to what playlist which is this particular this particular section here so if i click playlist you, you see, see automatically, automatically it, it has started, started recording, recording. It just, just put, put a channel, channel for me, me to record, record straight into, into audio, audio edits, editing, editing. Right? right as you as can, can see it's already, already recording. recording into audio, audio editing. editing so i'm so going to stop, stop that, that right, right now. now i'm going, I'm going to go to my mesa section, section, section to remove so you can see audio editing is here so i'm going to remove that right so remove all these effects so this is your save hmm? so if you want to save your project all you simply do is to click here it is not asking you location where you're going to save your project or you simply do you choose your individual location hmm? desktop um, documents anywhere you want to save your project all you simply do is just to title your project title it any name you want to give it hmm? then you click what save then the next there is also save us Mm -hmm. it's also save you want to save your audio and all that mm -hmm. you click save okay you want to save your wave you want to export your sound so the next one is an info project so info project means the project that you are doing mm -hmm. you give it a title so directly fl will help you save the type of, of your project so anytime you open the project it automatically give it what a name so here you are going to type in the pro the name of your project and it will automatically be saved in your fs studio anytime you open the project the name will appear anytime you export your audio you finish your project the name will also be linked what to the project okay so this is just a button yeah this particular button is connected to the internet in case you want to update or download a new fs studio or they update your library and all that so the next button here is touch control so you have part here so this particular part, you just fix your instrument here, a touch pad control. You can as well link your instrument. So here you can bring in different keys. Right? So that's that. Then the next one here is what? Is purchase FS Studio. So this particular button here, in case FS Studio have new updates, all you simply do is to come here, hmm? you click. So when you click, look like you already own everything you could buy in this shop. So I already have my own FS Studio installed. Then if I want the latest version, all I simply do is just to click this place. Eh? And it will highlight me that I, the latest version is available. All I simply do is just to click. Once I click, it will download the latest version to update this particular FS Studio. So guys, make sure you click that subscribe button on this channel so that you continue to receive wonderful and good videos like this so that you can learn much and i'm going to post more tricks and tips on how to become better in music production so guys this is pretty much of what you know so make sure you watch this video over and over again for you to into the process so that you do not forget any part of this video and so that you can know how to use fs studio pro Parley. so make sure you hit that subscribe button subscribe to this channel like the video if you want me to make any video in any section of fs studio anything you want to know concerning production put the question in the comment section and i'm going to get the question i'm going to make a video on those questions so if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe and there are other videos in this channel on how to mix on how to record in fs studio how to make beat in fs studio all the links are in the in the description below so make sure you check out those videos and continue to learn more see you in the next video guys